Hi guys, this is Vo. Um, so, uh, Wasteland 3 is scheduled for release um, tomorrow, and which I'm very excited about because um, I do like uh, Wasteland, or at least the, the, the gameplay of Wasteland. In fact, actually, Fallout 1 was based on the original Wasteland, which pre predated uh, Fallout. And so Fallout took the concept of post-apocalyptic and it took um, that turn-based overhead view grid gameplay um, uh, inspiration and made Fallout. But Wasteland was the original. So Wasteland 2 uh, actually came out well into um, uh, you know 2004 so it, it came out well past uh, the first game which came out in um, the early 80s or the mid 80s uh, so yeah uh, the game developer in exile entertainment actually released uh, wasteland 2 uh, in 2014 and so um, you know six years later wasteland 3 is coming out uh, so um, in honor of the third game coming out, I started uh, playing the um, uh, Wasteland 2 Director's Cut, which I bought a while back, but just hadn't had the time to play it. And so um, I ended up uh, playing it over the last uh, weekend just to, to get used, used to this world and the gameplay. Uh, I'm going to tell you, it is a very difficult game <laughs> if you're uh, if you're playing it on normal, it is very hard. Uh, so if you're a new person, new beginning, uh, play on easy. There, there is no shame in it because on even on easy, it can get uh, frustratingly difficult. Uh, and a lot of it is is chance and um, based on your character. So if your character only has a twenty percent hit ratio, you're gonna fail most of the time to to land a hit. So, um, yeah, so I recommend playing on uh, easy just, just so you can, uh, if once you beat it, uh, definitely come back and play it on normal difficulty or even hard difficulty once you get the kind of like the, the ropes and hang up and, and what to do and where to go. Because, um, when you're playing it for the first time, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. And, uh, uh, I made, you know, so many, I, I've <laughs> reloaded certain, uh, fight sequence, uh, over and over again, hoping for a better outcome. Most of the time, um, I fail at it, but uh, sometimes uh, you can do get lucky and uh, uh, will, uh, you know, barely scrape by. <laughs> and um, yeah, so there's, um, uh, so you're playing new. If you're new to the game, uh, uh, I recommend uh, getting as many recruiting as many uh, team member into your your group as possible, because the more people on your side the better chances you're, you're gonna uh, play you know you're gonna do well um, I am um, uh, you know um, in some early mistake I kind of went solo for a while I didn't recruit anybody and then then I realized oh I can recruit you know uh, people and so you also want a medic in your group and or at least uh, have a, is somebody in your group uh, specialize in, in surgery and and just medical stuff because uh, you're gonna need a healer uh, uh, who, you know, to help you out once you're uh, struggling for your life. And then sometimes if you get poisoned and stuff, uh, you will eventually die unless you have a medic uh, to to stop the bleeding. Um, what else? Um, uh, I generally the type of uh, character I like to play is a sniper. Uh, with uh, you know long distance advantage and um, uh, so my life points is not necessarily very high and my armor is not necessarily heavy and I'm not concentrating on strength or anything I'm just concentrating on my um, sniper status um, and then uh, so usually you also want like kind of like the muscle in the group which is um, a, a character that will probably use assault weapon or some kind of like hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat so that uh, once the enemy reaches um, my uh, proximity uh, he can take them out with you know a wrench or whatever and um, so yeah you want a medic you want a bruiser and uh, uh, the rest of the group can uh, uh, you can probably 
um, have like computer hacking skill. You can have, um, you know, it's really depends on your play style. But I do recommend having kind of like a diverse group of, of uh, character within your group. Um, so yeah, I mean, you, sure, you can have like two or three snipers in your group, but then the problem is you're sharing the uh, the same kind of bullets. Um, that's the other thing is uh, in this game, have one character use one type of bullets because uh, uh, scraping by with bullets is going to be uh, really tough in this game because uh, animation is very limited, and so you're forced to just just barely. Um, uh, you know, scrape by with, uh, you know, uh, you'll run out of bullets, basically. So uh, uh, I recommend if you, you go into shop, just buy certain types of bullets uh, that you're always going to use. Uh, much like if you're playing on file on, on difficulty levels. Um, so, yeah, um, so have one character specialize in one particular gun, etc., etc., etc. So, anyway.